Hello everyone, welcome to a new Decred news update. I'm your host Exodus and I'm going to be covering everything going on in the Decred ecosystem. The Decred devs are continually sharing bits of information regarding the big 1.6.0 release. The Decred DEX, for instance, is in the final stages of production. ChapJC reports the first DCR BTC mainnet atomic swaps coordinated by DCR DEX were conducted yesterday. Testing and development continues. Decred Jesus already has the DCR DEX running on mainnet. Mainnet testing is private and invite only for now, but testnet remains open to everyone. The DCR DEX, of course, does not collect personal data, has no fees, no utility tokens, and never takes custody of your funds. Trades are done via atomic swaps. The Monero community has provided the funds necessary to fund atomic swap development on Monero, so hopefully we will see an XMR to DCR pair on the DEX in the future. Project lead Jake Hill compiles as he and DCR contractors are here to win the war, not small battles, and that the DEX will be the new battlefield. DCRD version 1.6.0, with the features we've all been waiting for, has been merged on GitHub, indicating a release in the near future. However, there is still ongoing work in many other repos for 1.6.0, as Decred developer Dave CGH noted on a Forward Thinking Friday post on Reddit. DCRD is just one small piece of the total puzzle. The DCR on-chain website has finally arrived. This is a live, interactive website that displays on-chain and performance metrics, charts, analysis, and research. This website was funded by the Decred DEO via Politea and is a testament to Decred's governance abilities of building out infrastructure for the community. Visit dcronchain.com to see the site for yourself. The Lightning Network for Decrediton is inbound. Decred contractor Gucio from Brazil says prepare for the future of payments. Last improvements to Decrediton with Lightning Network support have been made. The Lightning Network is a second layer of scaling solution that allows near instant transactions that scale by the millions. A test running blocks with the decentralized treasury rules has passed, reports Decred dev Marco Piraboom. Luke Powell says the DCR treasury will be the largest transfer of power away from a founding team in the history of the cryptocurrency ecosystem. The Decred 1.6.0 release is going to be massive. It's obvious lots of polish and hard work has gone into it, so don't miss it. Decred's total coin supply has recently surpassed 12 million. Like Bitcoin, there will only be 21 million Decred ever in circulation. The block reward does decrease by 1% every 21 days. This combined with the fact that close to 51% of the supply is locked in the hybrid proof of work proof of stake mining system, and 8.6% of the supply is currently held in the soon to be decentralized treasury, means Decred is a very, very scarce asset. And it will be only more difficult to obtain once the market fully understands the infrastructure being built into the Decred protocol. If you haven't already done so, make sure to upgrade to Decred version 1.5.2. It addresses a recently discovered issue that could, under certain circumstances, allow for nodes to be hit with a denial of service attack. People running their own nodes as well as proof of work miners are advised to upgrade. The new website with decrowd.org has launched. This is an educational site featuring easy to understand articles, which will be great for introducing newbies to Decred. The website creator Pavel also plans to create a prize-based incentive program to go along with the site in order to attract new people to learn about Decred. With Decred recently had a proposal passed to fund $5,000 worth in giveaways for this purpose. You should absolutely follow with Decred on Twitter if you'd like to have a chance at winning some of these prizes. The Decred bug bounty program has been updated. There have been 141 submissions so far, with 14 of them being eligible for a payout. There have also been some rule changes to improve the program. MonPR was able to secure new Decred-related media. Decred project lead Jake Yocompiat was featured on Finance Magnets in an article titled, Are Crypto Platforms Taking Personal Data Protection Seriously Enough? He says protecting personal data is a much more complex process and that protecting digital bearer assets is a matter of protecting a very small amount of information, your private keys, adding that there are tools for doing this like hardware wallets. Jake was also featured on Cointelegraph talking about the safety of hardware wallets and how they sometimes overlook software security because it falls outside of their product offering. He also says the security against remote theft is normally offset because there is a distinct decrease in privacy since the hardware wallet supplier can see exactly which coins a wallet controls. Decred lead developer Dave Collins was featured in an article on the Daily Chain to clarify the recent vulnerability that was patched in version 1.5.2, saying not 100% of Decred nodes were at risk, that only nodes that accept inbound peer-to-peer -peer messages would be at risk, and that Decred developers were the ones that developed the patch for Decred, not outside Bitcoin developers. There's also lots of community activity, including podcasts, new videos produced, and other content. We need more options for sound hard money than just Bitcoin. Even if those options are going to fail, like a large uh, section of Bitcoin proponent, proponents will say, there needs to be um, other living, breathing arguments that steel man the Bitcoin position, strong competition like Decred for the hard money moniker, and strong competition like Monero with something that 
Bitcoin can try so hard to put so much effort and developer hours into trying to build like an analog of on top that still can't come close to what Monero does just for privacy with uh, with ring signatures currently. Following this release, it actually becomes one of the most, if not the most unique blockchain, particularly in the 21 million club. It's, it's the one blockchain that is differentiated on all the fronts and has delivered that technology. And I think that is then the springboard for how do we then make um, governance as a service a thing. You know, one thing that people really don't realize about Decred is that because it's so many different things at once with a sturdy foundation that its total addressable market might be the biggest in crypto. Decred is very challenging to sell to uh, VCs that are focused on cryptocurrency because there is not much price movement. From a practical level, they understand the need for Decred. They understand why it's important, why it's a fantastic inclusion in their portfolio, what it tries to achieve. I actually do speak with fund managers that um, in, invest in crypto. And while they are trying to you know, make a profit and make it as quick as possible, when I talk to them about Decred, they like the ones that I've speak, spoken to, they very much value what Decred is doing, even though that they might have that speculative attitude. Uh, and they're not just saying that to be nice to me, I know they mean it. Um, and I think that's something that as time goes on, more and more people are gonna come to this understanding uh, that Decred has got the staying power. Uh, Decred is doing what needs to be done. And that's why it will always be there. We are in a very volatile macro period uh, and a very volatile sort of period in our history, whether it's sort of political, societal and sort of economic. Bitcoin and Decred and maybe Monero to that extent will play very critical roles in the future of our society. And we have to make sure that we keep contributing, we keep compounding that energy and we keep bringing people onto this movement because this has legs to make a difference. Eileen from the Latin America team was on FinTech Advisory Services to talk about the future of organizational structure. In the context of a decentralized cryptocurrency, um, the idea is to have a system in place for the stakeholders to govern the network, to have a say on the network. Why stake? Basically, is to have a say in the project, to participate in the governance of the project, and to have a reward for having skin in the game for this participation. The Latin America team has been up to a lot, and you can review everything they've been doing on their newly released report on the Decred subreddit. Decred contractor Checkmate released a new research piece called Mining Market Mechanics. He even published a video walkthrough explaining the paper that is available right here on the Decred YouTube channel. There's a 33% drop in miner income despite DCI trading at the same price over that two year period. And that's really what's going on here. There is a gradual reduction, a slow bleed out of this value for miners, which makes it increasingly difficult to stay afloat uh, until you get price appreciation. So that's why there's not necessarily a one-to-one -one correlation between price and hash rate. Um, and you can see here in October, that's really October 2019, this is a key date, we start seeing this big dip off, um, which again somewhat correlates with a coin price drop. Um, but even so, we've had a, a, a coin price drop in March 2020, and we've actually seen an increase in hash rate uh, more from a, from a few months after. Um, we start to get the whole network is actually now operating at some kind of a loss, right? And as an aggregate income basis, the supply side of Decred is under stress. And we can, when it falls under the red line, which is the proof of work line, it suggests that miners explicitly are now under quite a bit of stress. To summarize the paper, he says GPU miners dumped everything they mined, ASIC miners have serious skin in the game but have massive overheads to recover, weak and outdated miners have likely capitulated, and that the DCR coin has epic vote distribution just as proof of work was designed, and that the miners have put the bottom in. A new Decred-focused podcast titled Staked, hosted by Eduardo Lima, was published to Spotify and YouTube. Staked podcast, and this is going to be specifically Decred-related. And I think I could convince people to come on to the podcast and record episodes with me live where I can talk to them, I can pick their brains, and I can really just learn. Ease Corner is not just going to focus on Decred. Ease Corner is going to focus on really anything related to investing, honestly. The YouTube channel Decred Society published a few new videos. What Decred did is they 
they saw that this governance was going to be a problem. They said, look, let's build this in from the beginning. Let's make sure the relevant people have a say in how the project moves forward. Now, for me, the relevant people are the people that actually hold the coins, the people that use the coins um, should have the say. In Bitcoin, the majority of the say obviously goes to the big holders or they go to the, the miners. That's still the same in Decred. The big holders still get the say and the miners still get um, some of the say of course on whether they want to to mine the coin or whatever but the majority of the upgrades the majority of everything that goes on in the system is down to the stakeholders and down to the coin holders to agree so the first thing you need to understand is decred has two parameters it has a proof of work just like bitcoin but it also has a proof of stake and these two components work side by side to secure the to, to secure the chain so obviously decred does need hashing power um, from the proof of work but it also needs people to buy tickets 421 phs of hashing rate they would be able to do a 51 percent attack now if we just skip straight to the bottom based on these values you'll notice that the current cost of attacking on these values is over a hundred million so considering the value of the actual chain itself is 169 million you can you can start to see that it's going to cost you a lot of money to attack if, if it was today just for one hour now let's take a look at politea decred's public proposal system the decred content and asset translation proposal has been submitted this proposal formalizes the ongoing translation work done for the Decred project in order to reach a more international audience and provide professional translations for the content and software of the project. There's a maximum budget of 40,000 US dollars payable in Decred over a six month period. The listed languages so far are Polish, Arabic, Spanish, Chinese, and Portuguese, with room for two more languages to be added. Work to be translated includes the Decred journal, video content, the Decred website, various articles, and translation for software. Comments thus far have expressed support for translations because they are from proven community members. They help expand the Decred community and would help with a more grassroots marketing growth approach. Other comments have expressed concern over the budget and effectiveness of the proposal, especially with Decred's falling exchange rate and the use of services like Google Translate. Kozel, the proposal submitter, says the budget is a high maximum, which he says will likely not come close to being hit, and that the average build by translation contractors is much lower. If you'd like to leave a comment, please visit proposals.decred.org and sign up. We had our first ever RFP or request for proposal submitted. The RFP to change Decred's messaging on Decred.org is currently underway with the Dream Proposal in the lead. The Dream Proposal explores the idea that Decred is the Chad coin and that we've been overthinking our marketing and messaging using virgin words instead of Chad words, Chad being a symbol of the apex alpha male. Jay-Z the proposer believes the tagline Decred and Sound Money Evolved should be used, although he says no one should vote for his proposal, though should it pass, he will come up with further Chad-like messaging. There are no costs associated with this proposal. Richard Red's proposal advocates for changing the tagline to Money Evolved after seeing the positive comments on the dream proposal. The initial tagline he suggested was stakeholder governed sound money for a fair financial system. He also wants to add a fair box and use the words fair, adaptable, and secure, removing the word sustainable, though keeping the content associated with sustainable on the site. He has written up a beautiful fair page copy which explores why fiat currencies are rigged and that Decred is building a fair financial system. The maximum budget for this proposal is $3,800. Payon's proposal advocates for the Money Evolved tagline, with the addition of adding a blurb on the Decred homepage about how we are living in disruptive, uncertain times, and that Decred is the answer to these uncertainties, as it is evolving money with a host of features like Politea, DEX, Atomic Swaps, and the Lightning Network. The maximum budget for this proposal is $2,100. Mr. Bull wants to change the tagline to Building Revolutionary Infrastructure with a follow-up of Decred is a sustainably funded open source software project coordinating a decentralized community of stakeholders to build a secure and adaptable payments network, creating foundations for a fair financial future. He also wants to include the same fair page for copy from Richard's proposal. His proposal also budgets for changing the look and layout of the Decred website with an example screenshot given. The maximum budget is $5,000. Voting on these proposals is of course easily done right in the governance tab of the Decred wallet to Crediton. The grassroots marketing proposal from With Decred passed with 62% yes votes and a voter participation of 37%.
This proposal authorizes the use of $5,000 US dollars in Decred to be distributed among new users on a pseudo-random earned distribution model via giveaways on Twitter and other methods the WIT Decred team comes up with. $1,485 is also reserved for website maintenance and fees. It is expected these funds will last five months. This will be an interesting test to see if free Decred giveaways result in a tangible improvement to marketing and awareness. If you enjoyed this Decred news update, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Maybe even share it with some of your friends who are into cryptocurrencies. Be sure to check out Decred.org to learn more about the project. And thanks for watching. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at Decred.org.